Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is day two of our April 2022 release and I have a little card set to share. So I am using our congratulation outline dies along with our congratulations stamp set. Those are brand new for today along with our sentiment strip dies which is also new for today. Our stitch square dies, our banner dies, our star dies and our school dies. So I went ahead and I stamped the sentiments onto Paper Tray Inks cardstock in different colors. Um, this color is Limeade Ice, and I stamped it in Versafine Claire Nocturne Ink. And I'm going to quickly show you how to line up the dies. These awesome sentiment strip dies are so fabulous. They work perfectly with all of these new um, sentiments that we have, the Happy Hello um, and the Happy Hello add-ons that we had um, in the past they all fit on those and they will make your life so easy so i went ahead and i grabbed um reminisce's graduation celebration um, paper and i cut it using our um, stitch square dies the size is four inches and then i cut the paper one eighth of an inch larger than that so there we go that paper there is paper tree inks pale peony and the idea is, is I'm going to make a little card set um, using different colors, but using this congratulations background paper. Now you can use any pattern paper that you have, um, but I kind of went for a monochromatic black and white look is what I was going for. And then the color will be pulled in with, um, you know, with my sentiments and everything. So this is American Crafts five eighths, or no, three eighths of an inch black sort of satiny ribbon. And I'm going to attach that to the back of this um, little piece that I'm working on here with ATG tape. There we go. Now I've got a paper tray ink white A2 sized vertical card base already made. So that's 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with my Teflon bone folder, Martha Stewart scoreboard. Now I'm going to line this up on the bottom of this card base. So I think that these cards are the fastest and the easiest to make. And this congratulations set is perfect for this. So I decided to make graduation cards today. So I have my, um, the graduation hat was cut using our school, Jada Blossom school dice out of American Crafts black cardstock. Ran it through my Gemini machine. I've got my EK Success, um, reverse tweezers there and I'm just using art glitter glue to stick them down and then I went ahead and I cut the tassel and then the little button on the top in the same color of pink so I'm using pink for the congratulations I'm using pink for the shadow I'm using pink for the other sentiments um, and I'll, I'll use pink for the little tat like I said the tassel and the idea is is that I have kind of like a you know monochromatic look even though it's not really monochromatic I guess the black and the white are you know you know what I'm going for the pink is the accent color for the black and the white and I just think this makes it so easy so you know if you had wedding paper you could do this for wedding invitations you could make these for anything you'd like and the nice thing is is that the black um, background kind of fades in a little bit but you could still see the, the congratulations all over it um, the other side of this pa paper um, has like a graduation sentiments on it so it's just perfect for this but like I said this is an old piece of paper um, I know Doodlebug has a black and white graduation uh, um, paper line that would work perfectly for this too. So now I'm going to be popping up this little grad cap with Stampin' Up Dimensionals. You'll notice that I'm working on my Stampin' Up pad like usual. And I'll just peel off the backings of those. And um, I'm using the normal sized ones and the little mini ones. These are kind of my favorite. And then the idea is I'm going to line up this little graduation cap on the right upper side of the card there, right along the ribbon. And then I will pop up my congrats sentiment. Now, a little later when I make them in different colors, I decide to stick the um, congratulations to the hat and then pop up the whole thing. It just makes it a little bit easier. But this, I was working the design out when I made made it uh, when I was making this one, just to show you kind of how it was going. Now the outline dies are so great; they work great. Um, I know you don't need them, 
but they certainly make life easy, let me tell you. And may I say that the strip dies, if you like these sentiments, like the happy hellos, and now we've got the congratulations sentiment, um, the sentiments that you are going to want those strip dies, they are um, the sentiment strips, they make life so easy. It cuts it out perfectly. If you don't want to use foam tape, you could easily just cut out a bunch of the um, of the strips and just, you know, stack them up underneath as your dimension. It's fabulous. So there we go. And now I went ahead and I cut out the these two little stars are from our banner dies and I cut them out of American Crafts um, Christmas foil pad and I use the silver one. And then the bigger star is from our star Jada Blossom star dies. So there we are. And I'm just going to pop up the star using, um, you know, the edges of this um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals. But you could use whatever foam tape you have. There we go. I'm just going to peel those all off and then I'll pop them up. So this release is, I think, amazing. I love a good sentiment. And what I love about these sentiments that Jada Blossom are coming out with are that basically they have congratulations for everything that you can think of. And it just makes it so easy to make a card. Um, you know, when you're when you need a card for that certain occasion, it's perfect. So that's what I love about it. There we go. And it's it's you know, like I said, similar to our happy hello stamp sets. So now I'm going to add on um, my strip sentiment or my my little sentiment strips there with some art glitter glue if I can get if I can uh, you know get the plug the clog out. That's what happens when you let it sit on your table there. So I'm just going to use reverse tweezers just to make sure these are straight. So it'll say, congrats on your graduation. Or you could have written congratulations because there's a sentiment or there's a sentiment stamp for that and an outline die for that one too. There we go. Isn't that fun? So that's pale. That's in pale peony. Isn't that fun? And then on the inside, I'm just going to use um, paper from that same paper line, Reminisce. Um, what's it called? The Reminis Graduation Celebration 12 inch paper line. But like I said, you could use any black and white paper for this. That's a three quarters of an inch strip that I'm just going to line up um, on using my Stampin' Up! grid mat underneath or the grid pad. And then I will cut off the overhang. And then basically like that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and put together the rest of these really quickly. So this one's Limey Dice. You'll notice that I did some stamping on the back of this cardstock, but don't worry about it. You use it, right? Use your cardstock because there's two sides. No one will see it. It's stuck down. And there we go. So that's the one with Limey Dice. And that's the one uh, that also says just congrats all over it. There we go. And then I'll add the three quarters of an inch strip on the inside. So like I said, I am loving this new release. Um, I might have had a hand in this sentiment set. So let me know what you think. I think it's fabulous. And my favorite sentiment sets are the ones that you can use for everything. Like they've got so many different versions. And that's what this is. And the font on the congrats and the congratulations is beautiful. I love it. So it just looks great. I think it would look great too, um, heat embossed on black cardstock um, with white. And then you you would have like almost like a, you know, what are those things called? Dynamo labeler. It will kind of look like that, which would be fun. Okay, now this is Hawaiian Shores paper trank cardstock. You'll notice there was stamping on the back of that one too. There's two sides of every piece of paper. And especially this really thick stuff, like you won't, you won't even know. So there we are. So now I'm adding on, uh, this is the next one. This is Winter Wisteria from Paper Tray Ink. And when I'm done, I'll have four cards for my stash. I was running out, actually, to be honest with you, the reason why I'm making these is I was literally running out of graduation cards. And it's great to have these in your stash for those graduates, right? So there we go. So you'll see that I glued those two together before I put the dimension on. It just makes it a little easier, right? And then I'll add my two little stars with my Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And then there we go. We'll pop up that other silver star. And then we will add in our sentiment strips. And of course, you know, 
time goes by and your glue will, will kind of clog the tip, but I just peel it off and then I'm in business again. So there we go. So it's lots of fun. And like I said, a fast, fast card design. I think that, like I said, you could use this for anything. Um, you know, you could make, you know, depending on what your, um, you know, your paper says, depending on what your little image is, you know, go to town. But it's an, I think it's super cute. And like I said, a nice, easy, simple card card design and layout, really. There we go, adding that star. So you're going to want to go over and hop on over to the Jaded Blossom blog. Get inspired by everyone. Um, they're rocking it as per usual. Um, make sure to hop on over to the Jaded Blossom store because this is day two. So you can still get your hands on the whole release early with the Gotta Have It Now. Or you can wait until Friday and buy the items a la carte. Um, you know, if that's what you'd like to do. Um, I know Michelle gets everything mailed out super fast when people buy the Gotta Have It Now. So a lot of times you guys have your products um, before we've done the rest of the release. Like it's fabulous and you can get creating before the release is even done. And if you do that, you know, make sure to tag us, you know, post it on um, Jada Blossom's Garden of Creativity um, on Facebook, uh, tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see it. So there we go. I'm adding on my last little sentiments here. And then we will have a neat little card set, I think. And there we go. I think this would be great to do a wedding one. I just have to think of what little image I'd cut out. But wedding paper, wouldn't that be great? You could match it to the couple's, um, you know, what their colors are for their wedding. I think that'd be great. There we go. And now I'm pulling out Queen and Companies. These are the pearls. These are in baby blue, but they kind of match what's going on with that Hawaiian Shores. And I'm just going to add a few to the front of each card. There we go. So I'm gonna add, um, I believe, five. And the idea is, is I'm just sort of straddling the images and sentiment, right? Drawing the eye, all that jazz. And then that way you get a little bit of, you know, jazzing up your design. There we go. So and I'll do the same thing, but I'm using the Queen and Company rhinestones. And this is pretty in pink. And then I'm going to add them in the exact same spot. Luckily, they kind of match the Pale Peony cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. Just kind of worked out. Um, although, to be honest, I probably would have, um, you know, I probably would have gone ahead and used, uh, used Nouveau Crystal Drops. If I couldn't find something that matched perfectly. There we go. I'm just using a pen blade to get them off the release paper. That green is um, shamrock green pearls. There we go. They're, it's a little bit darker, but in the same color family, so it still works. There we go. Lots of fun, eh? And then lastly, we've got the one in winter wisteria. And then I'm using the um, indigo rhinestones for that one. And I'm just going to add those in the exact same places. And there we go. So fun stuff, right? There we are. So a nice set of four cards. Like I said before, super easy stuff. So like I said, hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, the Jada Blossom store, get inspired. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And make sure to come back tomorrow because I'll have another one for you. Um, and that's about it. So thanks everyone. And we will see you soon in the next one. Bye.